Hey guys, welcome back to another day on the Jazz SMP. Back for day 17. So, today's goal is going to be something with this room. So, I already got a little trophy table, but I'm going to be using this to make these little guys. The little villagers. Because they're going to be used for actual trophies. For like different sales, or it could be like other kind of trophy stuff. I haven't really thought of all of them just yet. But I definitely want to get a sales going. So that's going to be my goal for right now. And then I think after this, I'm going to be setting up a sheep farm for all the wool. Yeah, that's going to be fun. And then I'm going to be working on another shop. I haven't decided which one yet. I'm just trying to go through all my permits just so that I could get all of them out there and kind of up and running. It's just nighttime now. But, I think right now I'm just going to do this, and then we'll decide from there. There we go. Now that fills this whole list. So I'm going to do this one as like, one other right coin. And then 2500. Cool. Yeah, I like this. Starts off with one diamond coin, makes it very simple for everyone to get, then jumps to one netherite coin, and so on and so forth. Yeah, I like it. And also, like I said, I'm gonna add like other kind of trophies in here over time. I feel like it'll just work. I'll remove this right now, though. Mainly because it'll allow people to be more encouraged, like, hey, I want this trophy here. I should, like, start encouraging other people to get my thing. And just in case they don't get it, I'm gonna add a couple signs in here saying occurred sales, like one here. Oh! 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 You know what I just realized? I could do like a whole like signboard here somewhere. Saying like these shops are open or something. So then people could see like, hey, which shops are open without having to like look through every single building here. Oh my gosh! That is smart! And that's when the player, aha, ha, 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 ha. Okay, and you can fill, so I will need three signs tall, possibly. Okay, so this is the position that I put everyone at, so. Yeah, I'm missing three people. Who are the three people I'm missing? What the heck? Is someone doing a shop clear out here or something? Or are they doing a bridge here? Granted, that's not what I'm looking for, but... Okay. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can find Space Bear. Okay, here's shelves, here's space bears, and then here's Artis. Hey, that's everyone. Awesome. Okay, cool. That's everyone signs. Yeah, because I only got four shops going. So, you got ships, mud, cedar logs, and bundles. Now, let's go back home really quickly and see what else I could probably do as far as, like, permits go. I need to continue working on my base at some point, though, too. I think right now I'm just going to focus on trying to get the shopping district done for my stuff. Oh. 
I keep on forgetting this is here. I really need to remove this. <laughs> oh yeah, the Joker permit. I have that. Right. Okay. Um, chalk, rails, fireworks, trial loot, shulkers, and Tom's level source case. Shulkers I can't do right now until we get to the end. Um, the other ones I can do. I think I'll focus on the chalk next. Because I'm sure people are going to be wanting chalk here soon. So, yeah. Yeah, let me deal with that now. Alright, so I got all the chalk I needed for this shop. It took me a little bit to actually get it all. Um, got about oh, almost 12,000 chalk. Yeah, that's fun. It was a fun long trip. But hey, I got it done. And I'm thinking I'm placing the shop here. I was trying to look around and over there feels a little crowded now along the mountainside. And I knew I wanted this to be more of a quarry because it's a rock type kind of shop. So... Yeah, I'm thinking over here will work well, especially like right here, kind of along the pathway. I'm not sure what people are doing over here just yet, because I still see that, so I'm not entirely sure. But hey, I think it'll work. So let me get this shaft quickly built. It's going to be kind of a small one. It's going to still be like a full-on building, but uh, more of a mine type look. Got this shop all built up now. So now everything is set. I got the little chalk shop going with a little like hut out here, the little like kind of quarry going on down here. Like, I wasn't planning on making this super large as it's gonna be like a small little mine shaft kind of thing. So I thought this will work. And it's kind of cute in a way. Granted, I will probably add some more texture in the walls a little bit more later, but right now, it, it works. I just needed to get this shop up because I know a lot of people are starting to get into like the white blocks a little bit for their build. So I thought, eh, I should probably get this going so that maybe I can make some money off of it. But hey, we'll see. Um, Now on to the next part, which is going to be making my automatic sheep farm. Which, that'll be fun. I have an idea for it, so... Yeah, let's get into that. Okay, so I had to go get, grab another sheep um, because I only had one left in here. Out of all the 10 I had, I don't know what happened to them. But I do now have two sheep in here. So I'm going to do something with this really quickly. As I'm going to do an observer block on top of the one grasser. And I'm going to do a row of them, one for each color on top of like an auto crafter to make them. I'm probably going to have like a little zombie statue in here that transports the iron into them. So, yeah. I'll catch you guys back in a, sec in a sec once I get a basic kind of redstone thing for this. Now I got a very simple design going with this little sheepy here. Did a couple tests with it and it's collecting the ball out of it, so I'm happy. It's just a very basic design. With an observer at the bottom shooting a wrestler signal up here, signaling the dispenser to shoot out some shears to shear the sheep. And then every single time, if there isn't anything in here, it'll go up through here to signal, hey, I need some shears in here. And then it'll shoot out here. Granted, yes, there might be a better way to go about this. But for what I could come up with, this works well. So I'm happy with it. So basically what I'm thinking is I'm going to be expanding this all the way through here. For like one or for each color. Um, I'm going to do a backpack in between like two of them at a time. Maybe even three actually. I can place it here four. Then it'll be four, four, all, all throughout here so you can get as much wool as I can. Because I need a lot of wool for like my ships and whatnot. I'm noticing that there's some things that need a lot of wool. Constantly needing it. So yeah. Well, Sheepy, you're going to be a perfect little slave. I mean, um, my little uh, sheep 
wool farm. Yay. So I'll continue working on this, uh, expanding it, maybe finessing this design a little bit more. And then, yeah, I'll catch you guys back in a sec. Alright, and I got all that done. As I now I got 12. Oh, I little hermit crab. Anyways, I got 12 sheep going. I did redesign this a little bit to include copper bolts down here. As I noticed that this resin torch kept on turning on both the crafter and the cobble and the dispenser. I'm gonna say cobblestone. It's really late for me right now. But so now every single time the sheep eats something. Um, it'll let this signal know, like, hey, I need to show you right now, like you just heard. Yeah, it makes it super simple. And then I got a little zombie farm going back here to give it iron. Into all of these machines. As it'll, it'll auto-craft some shears, like this one is set to do. I already kind of kickstarted it with a bunch of iron so that it shouldn't go out for a while. But we'll see. This one has a ward upgrade on the rotten flesh so that I could at least get rid of those. But yeah, I am happy with this. The only thing I need to do now is uh, set it up to connect to my actual network. But let's see how much I got to support. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. I got a grass block. But I got... Oh, seven stacks of wool. That's actually really good for like short amount of time that this was. Granted, I did a, do a little bit of AFK and did edit videos in between while waiting for sheep to grow up breeding sheep. So yeah, fun. Anyways, I'm happy I got this. I'm gonna use this wool to make as many ships as I can right now for my ship shop. So that would be convenient. Alright, let's go do that. Alright, while we're here, let's check to see what the progress of the shop is as it is. As it has been a couple days. I mean, English. Ugh. Um. Let me see. Let me see what we have in here. Like, did anyone turn in any permits? No, no one has even requested permits. Okay, cool. I'm not expecting it to happen right away, but, you know. Okay, no one else. Well, cool. it's only been like a couple days since I put out the episode, and some people have seen it, some people haven't. Not the end of the world. Anyways, let's go over to my other shops just to see. I just take the path. Should have checked my chalk shop while I was over there, actually. As I noticed that Trusty Bob still hasn't taken his his ship. Oh! Did someone buy another ship, or did I just not collect that money yet? I don't think I collected... I don't know. All I know is that people have been buying ships, so I'm glad I got that permit. This was stayed open. Ooh, pork. Okay, people are starting to buy mud a little bit. I'm happy. I'm, ooh. Someone bought a lot of my natural mud too. Okay, okay, that's really good. Oh. Now time to check my bundles. Okay, no one's bought any of that. Uh, let's check my cedar logs. I need to detail this a little bit more, as there's still a lot I could do with it. Okay, no one's bought cedar. Let's see here. Okay, no one's bought any chalk. To be fair though, this is also a brand new shop, so people won't be buying chalk right away. But, hey, it works. I don't know, I feel like the shopping district is, like, going really well. Everyone's adding their own spins to builds and whatnot. So, yeah, it makes me happy. 
Now let's focus on my main mission, which apparently now I need to add a uh, spruce sprig in here. Do I? No, no. Yeah, the spruce one. How much spruce do I have? Oh, I have plenty. Okay, cool. Got that restock. Oh. I need to do the oak one too, I guess. Um, here, let me do that. Okay, and now I got that restocked. Okay, cool. I kind of got my main part done. Like, I at least restocked these. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to get the rest of the saplings for them and also the planks. So I'll do that kind of off camera. I decided to sit at my sheep farm for a tiny bit for at least an hour just to see how much I got. After an hour, I only got four stacks. That's really good, actually. That is super good. Okay, all that is gone. So that one in there. Did it go into the next one? Looks like it did in here. And in there. Okay, cool. So it's like working super well. I'm happy with this. Now, that is all I have time for in this episode. I understand. As my bell's going off. I really need to start working on this village again soon. But like I said, I'm going to focus on as much of the... Chopping distance as I can so I could maybe start earning some money. And then I'll get back started on working on this build. But yeah. Anyway, it's like I was saying. Uh, thank you all for watching, and yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!